pay attention to what makes sense and uh, to you um and, and it will you know as you continue to to practice and continue to explore uh then then there'll be there'll be other perspectives that you will uh it might be drawn to but i think it's it's uh to like mindfulness of the body uh, is 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 such a an important foundation of all of our practices. I mean, it's just it's, it really helps to uh, um, bring a um, an anchor um, to the to the practice, uh, and it's it's like the uh, uh, the image that that the Buddha gives in the, in the sutta where he talks of the you know having the 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 uh, the the pole that is sunk in the ground really deeply and there are those six animals that that uh, uh, go off in different directions trying to that as soon as you they're tied to the pole and but and they try to go back to their 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 home base and you know and you know the bird flies up to the to the sky the monkey goes to the forest the you know dog wants to go back into the village and and so on those six animals go in all these different directions but they can't go anywhere because of the they are tied to this pole that's anchored in the ground and the buddha gives the the image the image of the simile of that he, that pole is the mindfulness of the body uh, and uh, so it's like mindfulness of the body is is such a an important anchor to our practice, and and wherever it is, it 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 seems to be interesting. That that's the because sometimes we can uh, idealize what we think we should be doing by hearing what others say and whatnot. Um, uh, or our own projections, uh, and um, but to be um, just having that that sense of having an anchor, mindfulness of the body that is able to sustain interest, because it is the mindfulness that is the say the most important part that there is a continuity of mindfulness, um, and then. Because that's like our, I say, development of samadhi and development of wisdom really has to be grounded in the, this this basis of, of of mindfulness of sati and sampajanya, um, so that w uh, wherever we feel interested or drawn, uh, then to to be to be using that. And and then you know begin to explore different elements. You you'll hear different teachings. You'll hear different expressions. Um, and I think that um, if we you know if we try too hard to fulfill what we think others are saying, you know we we'll get tangled up and confused. Um, and and they, you know, I think sometimes when they, when they um, say the teachers talk or say like no inside, um, of course there is this fundamental knowing that we experience within ourselves and usually at the heart base. Uh, so it's a good abiding place to come back. You know? But it's also sometimes the uh, like I can remember one of the one of the first teachers I studied with, and there's other teacher I've heard about as well, where it's like, you know, taking the uh, from the 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 Satipatthana Sutta, you know, sort of like the body in the body, feelings in the feelings, and mind in the mind, and mind objects in mind objects, and then sort of 
And then there was, and then, well, there's some more inside there as well. And there's some more inside there as well. And then it's sort of, it's like this, these uh, kind of Russian dolls that are sort of stacked up on each other. And, you know, it gets confusing. Uh, and I think Ajahn Jeff does a really good job of translating that idiom from the from the from the sutta uh, satipatthana sutta as you know the, knowing the body in and of itself knowing the feelings in and of itself and uh, knowing the mind in and of itself and knowing the the objects of mind in and of themselves so that that that's i think that's a really practical um direction and it's a very practical translation that that is is uh, i think very very helpful uh, so to to be able to be uh, reflecting in that and when it's sort of in and of itself well however we are experiencing something uh, and in this case uh, the mindfulness of the body you know how are we experiencing it what is actually drawing with attention and what is the uh say the, the, the aspect of interest because that interest is 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 uh is really important for for cultivating um well everything <laughs> in, in terms of our dhamma practice that aspect of chanda um uh interest motivation desire um so that 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 sense of the in in terms of those uh, um uh, the idipadas uh, the basis of success uh, that you know but yeah interest desire motivation it's really important so that that yeah if if, if the the interest is drawn to when one develops mindfulness of body uh, yeah, if it's the, the sensations on the skin and sort of energy around it, then you you develop that because you have to you have to work with what you've got, uh, and and as you do that, it starts to expand. It's it's like if you've got a uh, uh, if you've got a a, a knitted um, cap or something and and uh and you know all of a sudden it looks like you know one thing but and it's got a loose thread and you start pulling on that thread and all of a sudden the, the whole the whole the whole thing comes uh, and so it's 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 it, that's that's in the same way the the uh, uh our, our practice unfolds in the same way so yeah, just exploring where where your interest is, exploring where you can where you can uh, sustain attention, and then uh, and and again learning how to trust that. 